Show me a dry so, yes. one. So that's is my that car. literally your uh, car? That's literally my car. Zach, can um, we see one where we could see the rest of it? <laughs> yeah, so that's that's so that's my car. Actually, <laughs> um, now that we can see better it, now. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah, a little yeah, yeah. um windshield. that car's ruined. <laughs> no, it's 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 just it's fine. It's fine. Just you know, new windshield. Needs a windshield we're, we're Kyle, you, yeah. Yeah. Uh so okay, this car. So, yeah. So I have questions, lots of mm -hmm. them. Um, yeah. because unfortunately I didn't catch have time to catch up on your content, but I, I, I do plan to now because you've gone so deep into this, I'll have a lot to binge. So you're trying to make it <laughs> just as it should have been. You're trying to replace everything and make everything work, or are you just oh, trying no. to get this thing to go? Oh no, we're trying to make it the fastest McLaren in the world. <laughs> yeah. You can hurry. Right, well, 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 that's the reaction. That's the reaction that everybody gives you. This is the plot like, on, of the on land or water, man. Yeah, on, <laughs> yes, we, we have, have the technology. Into the, uh, we could rebuild the fastest it. seafaring vessel. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> No, no. So we um, right now the fastest McLaren in the world is the McLaren Speedtail, and it's me it's meant for top speed. And I always thought that this car should be the spiritual successor to the McLaren F1, like the supercar in the '90s, the fastest car in the world. It, it did like 240 something miles an hour. I think Jesus. that we could make this car um, the fastest uh, by you know a, a significant margin. So like doing the math on what we're planning to do on this car. Uh, we'll hopefully get to 260, 270 miles an hour. Uh, now, that's the McLaren F1. That is the fastest car in the 90s, uh, and it held that title for like a decade. Uh, naturally aspirated V12, very, very lightweight. Um, it had about 600 horsepower, 600 something horsepower. And um, yeah, it was, you know, it, it beat, it was a world beater. And now that car is about $20 million. So I can't really afford it. Um, How fast do the fastest production cars go now? That's uh, that's interesting. So uh, the fastest when you talk about the fastest, like the uh, the record, you have to do it forwards and backwards. So it's like a Guinness Book of World Records thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. So if, if you do forwards and backwards, the fastest now is, I believe, uh, in between the Koenigsegg Agera RS at like 277 miles an hour. Uh, or the SSC Tuatara. See, the SSC Tuatara is like this very, very bespoke car. I think they have like one of them, and they plan to, um, you know, build more of them. And theoretically, it should have gone more than 300, but uh, they never got that far uh, because you start running out of road real quick. Um, mm. So, but I didn't want to be the fastest car in the world. I want to be the fastest McLaren. So uh, yeah. the fastest McLaren right now is 250. I think we can beat that. But even then, it's... That's an insane speed. Like I've never even been 200 it's miles. Very an hour, dangerous. Much less Are you going to drive it to break the record? No, no. You're going to no. hire so, someone to. Yes. Yeah, so, so the person that, that I got to drive it um, is Ben Collins, who was uh, Top Gear's former Stig. And oh, um, that's sweet. yeah, and yeah. Like we, so we became friends in the last year, and mm -hmm. he's like, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. And I was like, hey, do you want to drive a McLaren like really stupid fast? And uh, you know, a car that I put together. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. He's like, he's one of these. You know, let's just send it, dudes. Uh, mm -hmm. So I I like that about him. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'd know what to look out for when the car's doing 250. It's like, is that a bad noise? Is that a, you know, it's it's sort of like, mm -hmm. you know, your transmission exploding. It's like, is that a bad grinding or a good grinding, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You're just pushing it to the limit. Where do you yeah. go to, would to, know. So wh where do you do that drive at? So we can rent out. Uh, the good thing about it uh, is me, you know, being in Florida, uh, I'm really close to Cape Canaveral and Cape Canaveral has the shuttle, la a shuttle landing strip, which is uh, mm. they, you know, it's a three mile long arrow straight uh, and they can rent it out uh, to people. It's expensive, but they can rent it out to people. Is three miles enough? Uh, they, it should be. I mean, the uh, uh, wow. there have been some speed records set there. So, I mean, it's three miles. So it's like two uh, end to end, but then you have to have a braking zone. Um, so yeah, you yeah. really have to have something that, has a ton of power. You need a fucking parachute, bro. <laughs> uh, the, the, the brakes on this thing is, are pretty good. Yeah. Cool. I, mean, I would hope so. Well, that sounds ridiculous. So, how much, <laughs> remind us, how much did you pay for the waterlogged $2 million car? <laughs> yes. Maybe? So, I got it. I got it at a really deep discount. Yeah. Um, steel. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I paid $575,000. <laughs> um, now, I didn't have that Basically kind of money. Free. It's basically, I'd be stupid not to get it. Um, like, I, I didn't have that kind of money. So I asked uh, one of my friends that, uh, you know, has some money. Do you know anybody that would be dumb enough to loan me 
half a million dollars? And he said, yes. So apparently he um, started banks for fun. And then he was like, hey, I have this bank that is like, you know, totally about it. And, you know, they'll give you the money and whatever. And I'm like, OK, so I, I give an application. And in three days I had the money. And I'm like, oh, it, it was it was nuts. It was it was like it's right. So, it was, so when you this deposit, bank's business model. So when you deposit <laughs> YouTubers and flood cars. <laughs> Welcome to Rad Central Bank. Like <laughs> where we only care about shredding and totally gnar shit. <laughs> Don't so even when you talk deposit, to me about money, bro. How fast are you gonna get in that thing? <laughs> <they're> all in <laughs> like eyes on yeah. shirts. Uh-huh. That's so a, when you I, deposit like half a million dollars into your account, do you, is there a little bit of you that says, man, I should just disappear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought about <laughs> that. I'm like, if I was a bad person, like this would be easy. Like this would, oh my God, we could just like, we could do this to multiple banks. I could be a bank robber and we'll just go to a country that doesn't care about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Eh, how many rad banks are there though? <laughs> like, <laughs> there's, there's at least one. There's at least one. <laughs> yeah, there's one. Yeah, you can't try this shit at like Deutsch. Dude, Shut I'm shocked down. at the price. It's still high. How much will oh, you yeah. have into this car repaired? 1.5? So the good thing about YouTube is that, um, you know, you can get a lot of stuff sponsored and, uh, yeah. you know, you get you get breaks on everything. But realistically, if I have like a million dollars into it, I think that'll that'll probably be, you know, a decent number. Uh, now, they've been trading like a good one has been trading for like in between 1.2 and 1.6. Um, and I think they're going to go up because, you know, these cars are super, super rare. They only made 375 of them for the world. And, uh, yeah, I think they're, they're due to go up, but you know, mine is uh, one can say priceless and the, uh, and another can say worthless. So I don't know. Yeah. I, I was just going to ask that, but you pre-answered it. Like, I, I don't know if yours being the fastest is going to be a good one or not. I don't even know. So I, I think so. I, I never care about resale value because, uh, for me, it's all about the story. Mm -hmm. I just care that I am, you know, I, everyone saw that car die on social media. You know, they, they saw the thing, you know, float down the street. Dirt. And for me to even take on the project, I think it's worthwhile, um, you know, whether I lose money or not. But um, just having some hand in that car story is worth it enough for me. My That's man here cool. doesn't care about one point five million dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, congratulations, it's, it's bro. <laughs> no, it's a loan, Woody, and the bank said, "Shaka, bra." <laughs> <laughs> it's not my money. I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's Shaka Bank of Milwaukee. Um, I mean, I, I I can see where maybe you you just wouldn't care at that point, but it looks like it's going to work out and be profitable in the end, right? Like, I feel like you're going to turn this around one way or another, you know, sponsorships and everything aside and, and make it profitable for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you count Cause at the end of it, you no, have that yeah. million dollar car. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's something that, you know, for me, the, the knowledge of going through it on my own meet, like it means a lot to me and that carries a value with it as well. So there's nothing on this car that scares me. I never have to take this car to the dealer. There's nothing on this car that I can't, mm. you know, fix in my shop. So like, mm -hmm. You know, having that knowledge is also, you know, worth something to me. What was what was the biggest issue with it? Was it the smell? Uh, so the <laughs> so the, the fact that we cleaned it probably 20, 20 or so times and there's still sand in it. Um, there was a good, and I'm not joking, like three to four hundred pounds of sand in that car. Um, <laughs> it's like every fuck? nook and cranny, it just had sand and salt everywhere. Um, I mean, the biggest issue really is wiring because it's really electronically complex. So what we're doing now is I have all the wires. I have the entire wiring harness out of the car. And then we have two donor wiring harnesses because you can't really get this wiring harness uh, from the dealership, from the, uh, the manufacturer, because it takes like a year to get. It's mm -hmm. 20 grand. Um, it's a lot of money. But like for that car, it's, it's actually not that bad. But like to get that, I just don't have that kind of time. So we have two donor harnesses from similar McLarens, um, and we are trying to splice – not not splice, but we're like – we're making our own wiring harnesses and trying to oh put them God. together. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say you had two other McLarens that were donors? No, no. So we have two donor wiring harnesses. Um, oh. But uh, I do have another McLaren that, uh, that we, well, yeah, of course, we're not yeah. using yeah. As, a, as a donor. Yeah. Um, but uh, but that, that's a, that that's... was another rebuild that I did. So for those who don't know, the wiring harness is is it's all the wires. It's all <laughs> the wires in this big fucking bundle of wires. And at the end, Miles, they fucking yeah. 
turn into it and in a car like this and i'm talking about on a chevrolet fucking 350 it's mm -hmm. a big it's a lot of wires those are a thousand dollars by the way yeah on this thing it's gotta be wait did you is this a hybrid car or something is, is this yes Yes. Oh my so fucking god! Yeah, so the, this, so this also, <laughs> you've got so a that, battery to contend with. Yeah. Uh, so the thing is, um, I also decided to take out the the hybrid drive assembly uh, because it's old technology. Um, it's super heavy. It's it's like four hundred pounds, and mm -hmm. um, there was a real big battery fire. But like the, the compartment, um, it it held it pretty well. So like when the car went in the water, things were shorting, and it was like big mad. So when, <laughs> no, it was it was bad. So we when we took that's out what the his battery, baker said. <laughs> we have a master technician. <laughs> Absolutely, this thing was big mad. Yeah, uh, I just thought your car had been flooded. I didn't know it had caught on fire as well. Yeah. <laughs> but then your but loan yeah, officer a... kick flipped into the room and was like, "I'm here to save you." <laughs> Turns the chair around. Hey kids, let, let's, yeah. let me wrap it. Um, said, Stop yeah, like, pussies. It, <clears throat> no, but it was it was. Pretty Pretty crazy. Um, so we took out the battery, and in order, oh, let me let me give you some numbers here. If I were to get a new battery from McLaren, they have like an upgraded battery, like a version two or three battery for this car. Mm -hmm. If I were to get it brand new, it's one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Now, they don't have those batteries uh, available. Like they 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 don't have them. It's like a theoretical thing that they might have in six months or a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have to uh, I'd, I'd have to install it. And hope that everything else works, like the uh, the e motor and the hybrid drive assembly and all that stuff, which it probably doesn't. So I figured I can just delete all that, have the world's first non hybrid McLaren P1. It'll be lighter. We'll put way more power into the engine. Like we're effectively doubling the horsepower of the engine. So I have a built motor going into this. Uh, the original engine is a 3.8 V8 uh, with twin turbos. I upgraded the turbos. They're way bigger now. Um, I have a four liter with uh, with built internals. So everything's four. What kind of four liter? Uh, so it's a, the four liter from McLaren. It's a, it's a McLaren oh, okay. four liter. It's just it's just more uh, more stroke. And um, it's uh, yeah, it'll be putting out something about like 1400 uh, horsepower. So, you know, with that power to weight ratio, it should get to 260, no problem. Jeez. Wow. What are you? I guess it did have that 400 pound <laughs> battery back there, and now it doesn't. So, yeah. does that change how the car breaks and handles, maybe no. the profile at all? Okay. No, because the battery was uh, actually the battery was right above the fuel tank, which is smack dab in the middle of the car. So, you take out that, that weight, and it's still the coefficient of um, the center of gravity, um, it, it, it's all the same. Dude, okay. I have butterflies just hearing about the money getting thrown around. <laughs> you know, a new battery is like $160,000, but I did it, you know, because it's really about the journey and the fun I'm having <laughs> along the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I went to the McLaren.